variance of the regression coefficient in yesterday's recording we talked about the unbiasedness of b2 that is beta 2 hat now we're going to talk about the variance of beta 2 hat that is variance of the Alistair omega so sigma square b2 is e of b2 minus e of b2 per square e of b2 minus e of b2 per square i'm sure that you know this that when you write variance of x how do you write this e of x minus x bar per square now x bar could be written as e of x only that is this guy okay so and what is e of b2 you have just proved yesterday that e of b2 is equal to beta 2 e of b2 is equal to beta 2 this is you this is what you have proved already so what do you have uh, and in the proof if you remember we came till this point right we came till this point okay? in the proof we came till this point b2 is equal to beta 2 plus summation of a i u i we came till this point so let me just write this point again your b2 is equal to beta 2 summation of ai ui and we have also seen this yesterday that this ai is what xi minus x bar upon summation of j starting from 1 to n xj minus x bar plus square we have seen all this yesterday uh, we are just going to be, uh, we, we will be just using this so beta b i need this now so i can write sigma square b2 as what e of b2 minus beta 2 that is what it is and from here i can write what b2 minus beta 2 as summation of a i u i I starting from 1 to n I can write like this so beta how can I write this Sigma square b2 it is what e of b2 minus beta 2 per square but b2 minus beta 2 is what summation of a i u i like this uh, which you guys can write as what mm. so <clears throat> if you would have to write a1 u1 plus a2 u2 so let's say if you had to write like this a1 u1 plus a2 u2 ka square a1 square u1 square plus a2 square u2 square plus 2 a1 a2 u1 u2 you would like you would uh, be writing it like this now now when you write it for n terms it will be just this a1 u1 plus a2 u2 plus so on to a n un ka square so what will this be then so when you will open this up in terms of summations and double summation but uh, this i can write as what this is uh, a2 square this is a2 square so this i can write as what uh, that is summation of i starting from 1 to 2 a i u i i could have written it like this only no? uh, so this is what i'm going to write it here also sorry a i square u i square you with me now i can write this guy as what summation of a i u i ka square that is a i square u i square so it is a 1 square u 1 square plus a 2 square u 2 square and so on and so forth these are the cross product terms so when i am writing i this is not i this is j so i mean these two terms are not same so these are all cross product terms so how do i write this i starting from 1 to n 
and j not equal to i starting from 1 to n a i a j u i u j you with me huh? now when you will put the expectation what will happen this summation of a i square will come out of the expectation it being it being uh, non stochastic so it will come out to be what um how do you write this uh, e of this okay let me just write it like this uh, that is summation of i starting from 1 to n e i square e of u i square okay. these things will come out of the summation uh, come out of the expectation they being non stochastic g not equal to y have it up okay now what do you have this guy you remember this This is the homoscedasticity assumption. This is the homoscedasticity assumption. That is, e of u i square is sigma square u, right? For all i, that's a constant. What about this? E of u i u j would be equal to zero. This is what? no autocorrelation assumption no autocorrelation assumption you with me beta okay so how do i write this so all of the cross product terms they have gone to zero all of them so you left out with only this summation of a i square sigma square u this is uh, your uh, sigma square b2 right? variance of b2 it is like this but what is summation of a i square this you have done yesterday you remember now ta -ta 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 -ta. this one hmm? x i minus x bar plus square that is what you have done yesterday so sigma square u x i minus x bar plus right or i mean you can just write j starting from 1 to n the way your book has written you can also write it like that that is sigma square b2 so you guys can also look at it this way beta what is your mean square deviation is summation of xi minus x bar plus square upon n so i can write this as n into msd Mm -hmm. So, I can write this as sigma square u upon n into msd. Mm -hmm. Upon n into msd. You can write this as msd, which is a function of x. So, just think about it. As your n is going to increase, your variance for beta 2 is going to fall. And that's a good thing. Right, you want a precise estimate. You do not want the estimates to uh, move too much uh, beyond the sample mean. Right. So, what do you have? It is inversely proportional to to uh, the number of observation. Uh, so, please just write this. It is inversely proportional.
to number of observations, right? So the larger is the population, the greater is uh, uh, greater is the probability that the the sample is going to resemble the population from which it is drawn. Please write the larger. is the number of observation the more closely the sample The sample will resemble the prop population from which it is drawn. Right? That is one thing. So let's could see this. Also, if you you also want this to be larger, beta. This variance of x has to be larger. This will make sort of this guy smaller, variance of beta 2. So you want a variation in x. You do not want x to be same. You get the point. I think this is also your one of the assumption. You want variability in x. So if there is more variability in your independent variable, you will get better estimates, right? Uh, you do not want that there is no variability in x. No, no that's not what you want, right? And the other thing is that, of course, in case if uh, this is going to be larger, uh, that is variance of the disturbance term is larger, then uh, the variance in beta 2 is also going to be larger. This you do not want. Uh, so larger is uh, the variance in the disturbance term. disturbance term the worse the estimates of the parameters are likely to be other things being equal other things being equal so this is what this is the way you find out the variance uh, of b2 hmm? so thank you beta